Good morning. Uh, my name is Sean Harlow. I am uh, here in the Philippines. I've been serving in the Philippines for a year as a GEO missionary uh, to the Philippines, assistant uh, to the president of the Lutheran Church in the Philippines. I'm standing in the sanctuary of Christ Lutheran Church in the island of Mindanao, the city of Cagayan de Oro. Uh, as you see behind me, there's many relief kits uh, that have been put together by the youth and the members of the church here to assist the community. I would like to introduce one of the members. Uh, this is Leah Kadai. She is the daughter of Pastor Kadai, who's been a pastor here for four years. Uh, and I'd like her to tell you a little bit about the kit that we're giving to each uh, victim. Yes, hi, I'm Leah. I've been a member in Christ Lutheran Church for four years. And we're very glad for the assistance given to us by the Lutheran Church Church in the uh, World Relief for the uh, extended help uh, for the affected victims of the flood here in the And we're giving away a uh, relief kit which is, uh, includes a uh, frying pan, uh, cooking pot, and some cups and forks and spoons. Also some plates and uh, five kilos of rice. With a with a pail, and also we are giving away a little noodle and some. Um, thank you very much. I found out some information here on the kits. They're preparing uh, over looks like almost 3,000 kits to help the community at a cost of under 20 U.S. dollars for the kit that Leah just showed you. The kits will also include uh, some fresh water and some medicine as well. I am Pastor Bernardo Kadai. This is my wife, Amy. I served this congregation, Christ Lutheran Church, for four years. And last December 15, we are hit by Plus Plat. And we are proud, I'm proud of this congregation and the neighboring congregation in Gosa. That some of our members, the young people and the adults were here. Uh, in past days, helping us, uh, helping the victims, and they were uh, those involved in packing of these uh, goods for help. Many of our members were victims of the blast flood. Many houses were destroyed. Many lives were lost, and we are very happy for the congregation who are actively working together to help the victims, especially of this congregation and other uh, people in the communities. And we are very thankful that you have extended to us your help from yeah, USA and brothers in America. We Thank you so much and God bless. Yes, thank you very much. We're here at the registration table um, for the relief area here at Christ Lutheran Church. I would like to introduce uh, Mr. Albert, who has been coordinating uh, the relief efforts here in Cagayan de Oro. Uh, I'm Albert Buluhan, a layman from Busak, from the Christ Lutheran Church. I was also a victim of the flash flood. Uh, I was able to get out from the flood by carrying my two nephews to safety. I volunteered. Despite of my problems that I was a victim, I have to vacate my house because I feel there's a need to help the people who really suffered in the pain, the anger, and the hunger itself. So it's a kind of what my pastor said that in your, uh, in your left hand you're a victim, in the right hand you have to help those really get hurt, those really need our help. And the operation is we kind kind of systematic so that people will not get also hurt because based on our experience and what we saw, when we really go to the place where the victims are, they really keep rushing, they will be disorderly and they will be hurting. That's why we decided systematically we all give them uh, coupons to come here, then we find their names, then they can receive to fit the utensils, the food stuff, the water, even the medicines. That's what we do here. So beside me is also my cousin, also a layman from Christ Lutheran Church, Mr. Alvin Casino, to say something also what he what he experienced during the time of the flash floods. Uh, I am Alvin Casino. Uh, I live in Pasil, Consuaga, also a disaster area. And me myself uh, has been a victim of this flood. 
but it doesn't limit me from helping others. It has been our task to ease the problems of our neighbors, especially our neighbors, who are part of our community, part of our life. Uh, here, uh, we try our best to give them their needs, immediate needs. Although it's a bit of uh, just simple things, but it means a lot for them. Uh, I believe that uh, this, the, their needs is cannot be satisfied, that we are trying to ease their problems, their, not only their material needs, but comfort, that there are someone else there, out there, who are willing to help them. Thank you, and we are very blessed that we have a uh, support group, the Lutheran Church, Missouri Sino, who are giving us a hand to uh, this typhoon that visit our place. Uh, we are hoping that more help will be coming. Thank you. I also wanted to mention that in the kit is an introduction to the Lutheran Church and the Christian faith on the back. Uh, so the church has really put in a lot of time and energy um, strategically wanting to help people with their physical needs, but they're taking the opportunity to share their faith and to share God's love through this catastrophe. God certainly does amazing things through uh, the disasters of this world. Uh, so I'm just very thankful for the people here who have put so much time and energy uh, to make this such a, a, a thorough uh, relief effort. I am uh, Reverend James Cerdinola, the president of the Lutheran Church in the Philippines. And uh, the Sunday before Christmas, actually the 18th, when I heard through the news and some pastors of what happened here in northern part of Mindanao, southern far part of the Philippines, it pains me so much. It pained me really hearing how lives were lost and livelihood were destroyed. And so immediately that Sunday in church, I encouraged the congregation after telling them of the sad news to join me in prayer. And then I asked myself, how could we respond to this uh, disastrous or disaster that happened to many of our brothers in Mindanao. Then immediately I called the district president of uh, the Lutheran Church here to coordinate with all the pastors together with the members and also with the other district presidents. I asked them and appealed to them that even in our own little ways if we could respond immediately to the needs of these people. I am so happy that I heard people saying, Reverend, we just deposited this amount to help the people in Mindanao. These are just little things that we could do. Then, after Christmas, on the eve of the 25th, I left home and come to Mindanao. It pained me more say, seeing how disastrous that flash flood was. I have seen homes being destroyed. I have seen places where uh, subdivisions or people live and now it's nothing but mud. So uh, I am so happy that when I communicated to our partner church through John Mel, Reverend John Mel, the regional director, he assured me that they are having a meeting and then immediately I received the good news that they are helping with an initial grant of 25000 for the relief. Now you could see this is well, just one of the churches where we have these relief kits that we distributed. And it really was a big comfort to the people who lost life, uh, members of their families, who lost their homes, who lost almost everything. To them, they are very grateful and I'm so happy that our pastors, our people who are serving, uh, helping serve and give these reliefs, always redirect these people, don't thank us, thank God. And so I would also say thank you so much to all the members of the Lutheran Church Missouri Synod. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your care. And especially, thank you so much for all the gifts that you've given us, so that through these gifts, and even in times of disaster like this, we could witness, not only could we witness, but we could also show mercy and serve other people. With that, again, thank you very much, and may God bless us all.